I have three unfinished wood circles. They all came from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to paint all three of them with some Wise Owl black paint. The big one measures 10 inches, then 6.5 and inches, and the smallest one measures 2.5 inches. I'm then going to mix some Wise Owl Republic Red and Wise Owl Snow Owl together to get a nice pink shade. And I just kept adding some white to the Republic Red until I was happy with the color. Once my black paint had dried, I'm then going to go on top of it with the pink that we created. And I did mess around with this a little bit. I did want the middle sized circle to be a little lighter in color. I wanted them all to be very similar, but yet be a little shade off as well. Once everything is fully dry, I'm going to do a really good sanding. I'm going to distress it so some of that black pops through. That's why we did the black before applying the pink. Now that everything is fully dry, I'm going to take my smallest wood circle and I'm going to put two ovals at the top. I'm going to fill them in with some black paint. I then have this leather that came from the Dollar Tree. It's like a faux leather. It's in white. And I had this teardrop shape that I'm going to trace as a pattern. And I cut two teardrops out of the leather. I'm going to take a Jenga block, two of them, and glue them to the back side of the middle size circle. And I'm going to glue that on top of my large circle. Now, I don't want this directly in the center. I kind of want it more to the top and then I'm going to take one Jenga block and glue it to the smaller circle and stack that onto the middle circle. Now the faux leather I cut I'm going to place at the top of my middle circle and this is going to be the ears. Now at this point you could probably see that I'm trying to make a pig. And then I have two half beads that were pre-painted. I get these right off Amazon and I'm going to glue them on as my eyes. I have two hearts here. And I'm going to paint them with the pink mixture and then I'm going to go on top of that with a little bit of black. So the black you can kind of see the pink peeking through but I do want them mostly black. And this is going to be the feet of the pig. And then I'm going to glue them on the back side of my largest circle. To finish the pig off, I'm going to add a little mouth. And I'm just adding black paint underneath the smaller circle. And I like how I raised everything, but you do not have to do that. I found this at Hobby Lobby in their floral section, and I'm going to glue it on the back side, and that's going to be the little piggy's tail. Now you could certainly leave the pig as this, but I wanted to just add something to it. So I put out the wood letters, you had me at oink. And I'm going to paint all of them with some Wise Owl Snow Owl. Once everything was fully dry, I'm going to glue them down onto the largest wood circle using some Elmer's wood glue. I just paint it on the back side. You can also use hot glue or E6000. And then I'm going to add two hearts on either side of the saying. And then there you go. You can add a hanger to the back side. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.